Impact. 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 All right, guys, welcome to Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and today we're going to be talking about 224 Valkyrie. This is my 224 Valkyrie from Alpha, uh, Alpha Shooting Sports or Alpha Precision Works. Uh, they're out of California. This is a 20 inch barrel. I get a lot of questions whenever I post videos or stuff about the Valkyrie on my Instagram or my uh, Facebook. What bullet are you shooting? And I'm going to go through the explanation of what I'm shooting and why I'm shooting it and for the reason I'm shooting it. Um, a lot of the guys, when you talk Valkyrie, they automatically go to the 90 grains. In my opinion, the 90 grain bullet is not suitable for competition purposes, for um, uh, PRS or NRL type competition purposes. Uh, yes, the BC is good, but you're put in the open category with guys shooting 6.5s and 6 mils and uh, all this, all those, you know, Gucci, you know, nice calibers, which are awesome. Um, and you get put into there shooting a 90 grain, which has a BC of, uh, let me see, I'll tell you right now, has a BC, which we'll get into the BCs, but just for a quick, has a BC of a 563. All right, 563, and out of this barrel, I could probably only push that about 26, like low, to mid 26s, hundreds, you know, so 2615, 2620, it's probably the most velocity I can get out of the 20 inch barrel safely um, with that. So it basically turns this 20 inch, you know, uh, AR into an AR 10, shooting a 175. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, yeah, the BC is good, but. Um, if you notice, some of the guys in the PRS have gone from shooting 6.5 to 6 mil. And the reason for that is because um, they're pushing the velocities higher. Velocity equals accuracy at distance. Um, so a quick example here, if you look at like the Hornady bullets, all right, the 6.5 has a BC, the 6.5 140 grain has a BC of 6.46. So that one, you could probably push 2,800s um, safely without a problem. Uh, maybe 2,700, 2,800s. I know someone shooting it in the you know 2,800 range without a problem uh, with a 26 inch barrel. Now the six mil, you're losing BC, so you're not you're at 536 G1, guys. So this is all going to be G1. I'm not going to go through G7. You know all this information. If you want, I'll link. Uh, I'll, copy and paste what I, what I have here, just basically just some notes I copied off their websites. Uh, so these are advertised BCs, these aren't uh, tested BCs. So the six mil, which is a 108 grain, is a 530. And a lot of the guys shoot the six mil, right? Because why? They're pushing those things to 3,100, you know, 3,000, 3,100, and they, it gets there. Um, so that's my, my theory on not wanting to shoot 90 grains out of this gun, I don't want to shoot 88s either um, because I won't be able to push the velocities um, that I want. I want to get as close as I can to 3,000. Now, if I had a, a 24 inch barrel on this gun, then yeah, I would, probably, I would probably just go more for the 80 grains or maybe the 88s. If I can get them, you know, if I get the 88 grains to like 2850, then I'll shoot it, then I would shoot it for comps, but I can't. So there's no way that I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna be, um, yeah, I'm gonna have, it's gonna have longer, um, it's gonna carry longer, so it's gonna stay sub, uh, supersonic longer before it hits the transonic range, but it's PRS. Most of my targets here, especially in South Florida, are within, you know, most of my PRS stages are within 800, you know, 400 uh, type stuff, smaller targets. So, um, I tested out, I haven't tested the 80 grain Hornady yet. I've tested the 75, I've tested the 80 grain uh, VLD Burgers, which they did all right in this gun. Um, and so off of those numbers, I was able to push the, the 88 grains safely to about 
I believe it was like 2850, 2830. So that's where I'm at with that. So I, I decided to, uh, you know, not get the highest BC bullet um, and go with the 75 grain ELDM from Hornady. And the reason for that is because it has a, a 467, right? And I can push that. Uh, I actually shot it out of this gun at 3000, uh, 3002 was one of them. Um, had a little bit of pressure sign, so I tucked it down. So I'm at 2980, 2990 uh, safely out of this gun uh, with that bullet. So that right there gives me the performance that I want um, for the ranges that I need. I'm, I'm, I'm holding like 0.8, I think it's like 8.7 mils or 9 mils at a grand. Which is perfect for what I needed. Like I said, I'm not, I don't I don't shoot that different. Um, I'm shooting, uh, I believe it was a, uh, three point five mils at uh, six hundred, and uh, two point four at uh, five hundred. So that for me is perfect um, for what I want it for. Uh, and really, the only difference between the BCs between. Uh, the 75 grain ELDMs and the 80 grain ELDMs is about point, uh, it's about 20, right? So one is 0.485 and the other one's 0.67. So it's not a lot and I'm gaining about 100 feet per second uh, more. So I will take those 100 feet per second more than uh, that. All right, so some of the bullet options you have, of course, I recommend the Hornady line, uh, doing really good with those. Um, I like the 75s and the 80s loaded slightly longer and put a shitload of powder behind it. Um, the Sierras, you have the 90 grains, which I don't recommend. Uh, if you're gonna shoot like F-class type stuff where you're just sitting there and you're trying to get a tight group out of at further distances, then I would tell you, yeah, um, maybe the 90 grains are for you. Or if you have a 24 inch barrel or 26 inch barrel and you can push those pills out to, you know, 2800, then power to you, dude, that's what I would use. But you could also push, if you could push uh, a 90 grain to 2800, I'm pretty sure you can push a 75 or an 80 grain out to 31, which will probably give you better ballistic out to a grand than, um, than the other thing. Yeah, it won't buck, you know, it won't fight the wind as much, but it is what it is. Um, so Sierra has the 90, the 80 with the, um, all right, so this is, so this is where, where you guys got to do a little bit of research and this is, this is what I did when I, uh, I'm not a fan of any bullet company. I like Hornady, I like Sierra, I like Nozzlers, I like G, uh, G9 bullets, but I got to pick what I like in what I'm looking for. So what I looked for this rifle was trying to get as close as I could to 3000 feet per second with a decent BC. So, um, if you look here, the Horn, the Sierra 80 grains are at 461. The VLDs on the box are at 4.455, uh, uh, right? So I have a higher BC right now with a 75 grain bullet than I do with an 80 grain. Therefore, I can have a higher BC and more velocity. So that's why I went with that. Um, with that one, the 77 grain, for for example, the 77, the 77 grain uh, tipped match, the uh, SMKT or whatever they're called, uh, the 77 grains are 420s. Why, I don't, I would never shoot that bullet, why? Because I would go to the Nosler 70 grain RDFs, which have a 416, which is very close, and they're uh, 0.7 grains lighter, and they're gonna, they're gonna fly a lot faster. Um, I haven't tried the 85 grains, but again, when you look at when you, when you look at at the advertised BCs, it's a 0 .90, 0 .498 compared to the 88 from Hornady, which is a point uh, uh, .545. So I would go with the 88 grains, right? BC, the the weights are about the same. Um, so there you go. I could probably. Another bullet I do like, which I shot out of this gun, was the 70 grain RDFs. I have uh, a video down uh, on this channel uh, that I did. I was using, my dog sleeping. I was using, um, I believe I was using IMR 8208, great powder, 
Uh, didn't even go past max and I was at 29.79. It, it, it shot like a two inch group all the way out to 500. Uh, I really like that one. I could probably bump it up even more and get that into the 3000s and maybe go with that. So that's another thing I'm gonna be testing out sooner or later. But um, that's just, that's just so, that's my theory on what I'm shooting with this gun, guys. Cause, like I said, a lot of the PRS guys were shooting 6.5s and then the 6 mil Creedmoor came out and they went to 6.4 Creedmoor, all right? I'm, I'm sorry, they went, 6.5 came out, right? It has a super BC, right? The BC is incredible of a four, uh, 446. And then the 6 mil Creedmoor came out, which is a smaller bullet, a 108, and it has a 530 BC and you're able to get 3,000 feet per second. All right, guys, so that's my theory was, I was I saw a lot of the PRS guys do that and they're shooting six mils uh, and they're getting lower BCs but faster velocities and I said, that's what I should be doing. So if you're gonna shoot the Valkyrie for any type of uh, PRS competition or NRL, don't even look at the, at the 90 grains or the 88 grains. Try to push the 80s and the 75s as fast as you can get them and that's gonna be your bullet. All right guys, so I hope you had a happy new year and I'll see you at the range.